welcome to the usual spot. I'm playing some Ether One. This game is a it's a puzzle game. It's an indie game as well. It's awesome. I gotta tell you that I played some of it. I played this was. Like probably six, seven, uh, oh, it tells me right here. Yeah, so over nine months, or nine months ago, yeah. So, gonna go ahead and start a new game. And yeah. Let's go. It's me. Listen, I, I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just... God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. You know I do it, but... but Jesus, do, do you know how I view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please. Don't go tonight. I'm freaking scared. For you and for me. Alright, well here we are. Uh, let me see if I could turn up this... Uh... Look sensitivity. Yeah, there we go. Look sensitivity. All the way. I like really high low, uh, look sensitivity. I feel like most people do. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Uh, subtitles were on, right? Maybe it's in the video section. Nah, no. Nah, okay, whatever. There were subtitles, so we're good. Alright. Here we are. We teach, they restore, you remember. A vision of your past. In the mid 19th century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. You will never forget. We can help At them the remember. At the forefront of these experiments, the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human Keeping mind your fondest memories expanding alive expanding the knowledge of our species all right let's go ahead and ring the bell is that it is oh this is excellent we're so glad to have you back my name is dr edmonds but you can call me Phyllis if you like. Hi, Phyllis. Right. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. Nothing in there. Restoration procedure for patient J N two All right. zero five seven. We'll commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Well, it seems you best get to move there we go. on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening. And hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you or our client. I'm in restoration chamber number three. Now, if you don't mind... Would you be a dear to head on down? Is it? Uh, I guess not these doors. Oh, down here. Okay. Oh, okay. I can sprint. It's more like a jog. When holding an object, press touchpad to examine it. The Restorer. The next step in human evolution. An asset to 2. society 7, and the welfare of the natural world. Their purpose structure memories within the maze of the human mind. Uh, all right, let's see if there's anything here. Items can be placed here. Oh, cool. 
Ready. Load Ether Solution 3.5. Loading. Ready. Ether Solution 3.5 suspended due to insufficient data regarding health and safety. Ratio of positive and negative effects upon consumption is currently 1 to 2. Well, dang. It is worth noting that the current positive effects have shown the intended outcomes of this experiment clearly. Positive effects include a stronger, more defined focus of patients, as well as stronger cognitive skills. Negative effects, however, have shown serious problems to the consumer, in some cases causing further short-term memory loss. I see. Anything with this? Nope. Hey James, I have totally set up the greatest prank to get McCarthy back this weekend, especially after what he did to my sandwich last week. I found out that he always works late on Saturday evenings, usually on his own on maintenance within restoration chamber number 3. You're not going to believe what I've cooked up. I replaced the fuse in the Rembrandt power box with the wrong type. When McCarthy comes to do the power check on the chair, it's going to make a huge bang. He's going to be scared to death. Why on earth would you do that? <laughs> Nothing here? Okay. Let's go then. Press square to pick up an item, put it press circle to pick it back down put it back down. Reconstructing memory. Industrial mining, okay. I could go through that door. Uh, let's go see what through what's through here first. Nothing here. Oh wait. Guess day player, get hole puncher and twelve ballpoint pens, A4 paper, use stationery to write letters, use hole puncher to file letters, get staples. Get hole puncher. Okay. Ooh, a flashlight? Take that just in case oh, I can only take one thing at a time. I'm gonna need that key card. Engineering drawing. Ready. Load patient zero historic log 24091944. Loading. Ready. The birth of a new era occurred today. Patient zero, whom we have been working with in our projection experiments, has brought forth some very interesting results. Firstly, his ability to communicate dramatically. Wow. Although at this moment in time it is akin to a babe's ability to wail at its mother. His telekinetic ability has shown small amounts of improvement, tiny movements here and there. We even witnessed a box move across the table the other day. Fascinating implications. Wow, what the heck? After the ter terrible incident during R157's treatment of patient J2057, it has occurred to me that we have must fashion a mental safety mechanic that will instantly secure the consciousness of a restorer. Speaking with Dr. Collins, we were able to define a way to contain some of the restorer's subconscious mind after the initial projection, creating a defined and contained space within the restorer's own mind, something we now refer to as the case. If we are to think of this in physical terms, I would say the metaphor of a safe would suit quite well. A space to hold the raw essence of the restorer's mind. So if the worst happens, we have an origin point to work back from. Interesting. I never really got much of a background to this game. Remember to meet in the gallery at 1 o'clock in the morning. A new projection is due to start and it is going to be incredibly interesting. You know that accident that occurred a few weeks ago? Well, it's the same patient. Meet me in the locker room at midnight if you want to join us, Robert. All right then. Oh freak! Sometimes these procedures don't. Uh, how should I put it? Go to plan. But really, there's nothing to Did see. Anybody see what that was? Anyway, shouldn't you be heading to restoration chamber number three to meet me? What was that? Sometimes this game can be really creepy, but like nothing actually ever happens. It's just one of those games where the environment seems to like really I don't know freak you out. Ether solution 5.1 oh wait yeah yeah has shown significant improvements over its predecessors. There is currently only a 20 to 1 chance that negative and detrimental cognitive effects will impair participants when taken regularly. Positive effects include superior long and short term memory which directly aids in reducing confusion and hysteria. The only major concern so far is how long the effects of the new solution last. A high dosage can have serious effects on the liver and heart, and I fear a long-term subscription will ha will in would induce similar problems within patients. I see. 
Restorers may only carry one item at a time. I'll take that. Do I put it there? Here we go. I'm incredibly excited to get started with my new patient. A real chance to explore the water. Okay. What was this? That's the prescription. Bourbon. <laughs> Somebody's been drinking on the job. What do you want me to do? Is this not the room? I can't remember the room she wanted to meet me at. Where's the key card? Do I still have it? Oh, it's right here. Well, where's the room? Hmm. Can't remember where the room is. Alright, let's try and head back. Oh, restorations, re chamber, one through three. I think she wanted me to move three, if I remember correctly. Nothing here. The restorer. The next step in human. Nothing there. Not there either. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's through here. Oh, here we go. Alright, to check this all out. Alright. This is one through two. This is three. That's the one I have to go in. Why are there boxes here? Doesn't look like much restorative equipment. Nothing in there. Uh, let's go check out what's in here first. Wait, was I already in here? No, I was not. A chess table. Okay. Due to bad projection, R157 has suffered severe hemorrhaging in the brain. This has resulted in a minor stroke impact on uh. our patient's motor abilities. The investigation is still underway, although it been points to a fault within the cerebral component of the restoration check. Do they listen? Of course they bloody well don't. And unfortunately, recovery isn't always an option. Once you experience the deep recesses of another consciousness. I still really want to know. Like, I understand the premise of this is like, they help people who are traumatized go back through like their memories or something but I didn't play far enough for me to even know what is actually going on beautiful isn't it a miracle of the 20th century a window into the minds of others and a tool to cure disease and illness but it would be nothing without the likes of you okay so that's what all one does right would you be a dear and help me with Is this me? Rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. So I'm a teacher. My blood type is A. I'm British. I'm 69. Dang, Jean Thornton. I can move this well. Pretty good. Since returning, she has been residing in her town of birth, Pinwheel Cornwall. I'm assuming this is me. Uh, what did she say she wanted me to... Dang, I should have been listening. <laughs> Uh, I just sit in the chair. No, that wasn't it. She said to do something. Oh wait, I think it was to take out. Yeah, seventy-five A. Okay. Only accepts three hundred A. Cool. Thank you for the note. Which was over here. Yeah. 
I'll be back for you, key card. I don't. I don't think I don't. I don't think I need you anymore. There we go. The music in this game is also very eerie sometimes. I think that was what was in the room. One of these were broken. Now why? All right. Well, here we go. Right. A few things before we project. Our client Gene is currently in a very delicate state. Our primary focus is to ensure that we. Okay, well, uh, here we go. This is really weird. Are you ready? Uh, I can't really say anything. Is that what you want? Okay. Okay, well, that was interesting. Teleport to and from the case. Oh. Our sole purpose this evening is to track okay. the memory and pinpoint its location so we can cleanse it of any disease present. Hang on, my battery is getting low. In front of you is a visual environment pieced together from right, our client's subconscious mind. Barren wastelands or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of wow, dementia. Wow, water. Both are incredibly important if we are There's to no succeed sun. and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give me a second, I'll have some more details for you. Feel free to explore in the meantime. Okay, I shall do so right now. Wow. I can hear this game pushing my PS4. It must be really intensive. Ooh, what's through here? A cave? Oh.
Can't go that way. Okay. I can jump. Alright, cool. I guess we'll just go further down. I find it really odd that there's a there's a reflection of the sun, but there's no sun. Delvin, Devlin Mine. All right. Anything in here? A little book. Can't take it out though. What was this? Oh, just a ruler. Okay, can't. There's nothing in there. What's this? Mr. Moran, it has come to my attention during my inspection of the mining facilities here at Devlin that many of the workers in the pit are unsettled, uneasy, and as a result, unproductive. There is clearly a correlation between the pitiful working conditions that these men have to endure and their motivation to do productive and worthwhile work. Lifts and descent devices are clearly in disrepair. Ventilation in the chambers below are blocked, causing fume and smoke buildup. With these issues and more in mind, it is with my sincere apologies that I have decided that Devlin Mine should close temporarily until these issues meet the standards required by your governing union body. Interesting. Okay. Can this open? Yes, okay. Nothing here, though. Let's go lower. Oh, look at all these ass masks. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. I borrowed the air compression manual in order to make repairs in the mine. I left it down to the blast doors. Down past the blast doors. Steve has warned me so many times about being forgetful. I just hope I can get it back before it gets lost forever. I can't afford for, I can't afford for any of my wage to be docked this week. Damn. Huh. Nothing in here. Oh wait, I didn't finish checking this room. What's this? Raisins? Okay, I don't know why I took that, but I did. I like raisins. Ooh, binoculars. Let's take that. Ooh, some music. Oh, a door? Okay. Nothing here. Oh, what, is there anything in here? It's worth ah! Noting. Do you feel an item might be useful later on in your journey? And you have no use for it now? You can always store it in the case and oh, collect it at any time. She said this was important for some reason. Uh, okay, I can put it right here. Cool. Alright. I want the binoculars, though. You know, they're probably useless. Okay, let's go see what's up here. This just takes me back up to where I was. Okay. Well, what am I doing? What's what's my objective? Am I just just uh? Well, I haven't checked this way. Oh. Entry 95D in our client's memory journal indicates that an accident occurred affecting them in a meaningful way. Ooh, a door. Ah, a keypad. Okay, we have to go find the code. Hello. Hello, plant. How are you? Hello, weird barrel. How are you? Cole, how are you? All right, let's check out what's in here. The door. Ooh. Interesting. Nothing in there. Anything in here? No. No. Nada. Okay. Dear Mr. Harvey, as I am sure you are aware, my client Mr. H. Smith is intent on offering you a particularly generous buyout of the Harvey & Co. Limited Enterprise. We would like to propose a meeting between parties and solic solicitors on the 15th October at our offices in Devlin to discuss a potential acquisition of assets and trade. Be under no illusion, Mr. Harvey. We are fully aware of your current financial di disposition and are incredibly interested in rectifying the situation for you. Your sincerely, Mr. J. Dawkins, business solicitor and consultant. Alright, interesting. Uh, let's not go down just yet. Let's check what's through here. 
All these tools. Dang. I need to ensure that I remember the lock combination to Devlin's side entrance, but the warden banned us banned any of us from writing it down. Miners eat from metal plates. Don't forget. Oh, I think that's a hint. Okay, I need to find a plate. I don't know if he meant like a literal plate. Ooh, a guitar. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is wow. Much wow. I like that a lot. Ooh, what's this? Can I pick anything in there? Nope, okay. Oh, a metal plate. Ha ha. 1670. Alright, cool. What is this? Oh, wait. Would you look at that? Monday. I remember waking up here for the first time and feeling sad. For a long time, I couldn't understand why I was here, but then I remember smelling perfume. For the first time, I was happy, but I'm not sure I know why. Saturday. Today, a nurse was holding my hand and asked me to calm down. I tried to explain that I had spilled a cup of hot tea and burnt my arm. The pain was terrible. The nurse shushed me and told me my arm was fine. When I looked down, I saw I was wearing a bandage. A bandage. The nurse explained that I had I had an accident on Thursday and I had hardly heard a word she said after that. Somehow I managed to lose three days. Alright, what was the code again? 1670. Let's take that just in case. Uh, let's go ahead and head down. I want to open that door. Is there anything else? Was there anything in here? No. Okay. Or oh, did I already go down here? Can't remember. Oh, what's this? Okay. Okay. Uh, we gotta go figure out. Oh, can I turn this? No. Nothing here, I guess. Look at that water, though. It's still really creepy. There's no sun, but there's a reflection. Okay, anyway. Where are we headed? Back to the door, which is over here, right? Yeah. And the code was, uh, 1670. Okay. That's already a one. There we go. Okay, so I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history, and I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. Okay. An entry that discusses the mine at great length. All valves are in the correct position. The individual was that worked there. So I'm supposed to know what the positions are. Further into the mine. It seems the center of this memory is very much at the heart of these industrial Oh god, this place is all like... I'll contact you if I gain any more information. It's flooded. Oh, what's this? Oh, here we go. Okay. Open valve. Close valve. Oh, okay. So, if I remember. Open. Close, close. Open, close. Open, close, close. Open, close. Open, close, close. Open, close. Uh, open, close, close, open, closed. Was that the right direction? Can I see it from here? No? Okay, so right is open. Okay, so open, close, clo wait, wait, what did I just say? Oh, well, I just said right is open. And there we go, okay. Yeah, look at that, guys. I did it. Oh, it's draining the water. Cool. Salt. Oh, coal. I thought that said salt. Alright, well. What does this say? I hear her calling as we work the ground, crying and begging for us to stop, pleading and bargaining as we bring our tools down onto the earth, rock and metal beneath our feet. Her waves are crashing against the cliffside in protest, cursing our industrial ventures, crying for her plight. I know in my heart that one day she will lash out and we shall pay the price for both. But what can I do, Mother Earth? I have mouths and that I need to feed, a job that I need to do. The industrial man asks of me and I shall provide. As the machines brim with repetitive life and the craft of the tools claw at the rock face, I feel the unrelenting force of nature below me making its preparation to unleash its freeform glory upon us. For a second, I thought they were burying someone. 
man, this game. Okay, so it's like one of those games that like just being in it really creeps you out, but nothing actually happens to creep you out. Oh, okay, we're descending. We're going into the mine. And here we are. Okay, okay. Something ain't right in the mines today. A man can sense what something isn't right. It stinks up the air, making us sweat. I hear someone would say they were going to close the goddamn mine down to them entirely. The air compressor keeps breaking and we have no manual to fix it. We need a way to cut down, to cut the ventilation pipes, otherwise we'll suffocate down here. Let's play some music. Yeah, I can feel that jam. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, okay. This one does the same thing, I'm assuming. Yeah, alright. Oh? Sounds, sights, and smells can help store memories forever. Hmm. A projector? I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. Don't worry, you won't need these to progress this evening as they're an optional task, but we should at least give this one a try. Alright. The bloody air hoses have been clogged up again, which means I'm going to have to puncture a hole in the rubber pipes to clear the smokes up down here, and I don't care how I do it. We had to seal the lower mines off to stop the smoke spreading. It's hell for the miners, and even though it's not ideal, it will have to do for now. For me. Alright. So we, in order to solve these uh, projectors, we have to basically solve the puzzle related to them. Dan, I can't find the air compression manual anywhere, which means we can't get the door to budge. It must be around here somewhere, and you were the last one to have it. Could you please find it and place it here on my desk? Okay, so I got like this downstairs in the case for you. They'll be there whenever you want to have a look at them. Let's go look at that, shall we? Okay, so this is the note board then. Oh, here's a projector. I'm missing one of the... What are these? Do these hold like films? Oh yeah, I don't need to play it anymore. Alright, we need to go find that, uh... That book. Things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. Reinforced glass? Shatter resistant? Oh, really? We'll see about that. Oh, wait, what did that note say? That one other note? Yeah, this one right here. I have to puncture a hole in the air pipes. Okay, let's see something. Although both keys are fragmented, yeah. I hold the key to remembering the way we were. That symbolism, though. What is oh. this? We slink and stir throughout important. the night, lurking through the unknown, relishing the places where only children dare go. Dank alleys and secret fields navigated with the aim of reaching our adventurous and illuminated destination, hiding from our foes our lamp in tow. Nice poem. Alright. Is this it? Yeah! Hello! Hello! This too? Oh, would you look at that? Okay. Well, here we are. This one too? Okay, yeah, this one too. What does it say? Uh, it's just a dime. Uh, I don't need to read that. There we go. Did I miss one? I can't remember. Did I cut this one? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Well, let's keep it going. Oh, here is this the book? A spray of perfume, yes. and it all comes cool. flooding back. What's over here? Why is there sunlight? Dark, lifeless forms are bodies lost in time, frozen forever deep underground, eternally singing this line. The devil will have his way. If you step into his lap, he will torture and torment thee, luring you onto his trap. 
If you think you can escape his wrath, your mind is addled and lost. For the devil's chamber is on your back, and your life will be the cost. Oh, that is creepy. Like I said, the environment of this game is set up really well, but really creepy. I feel like I should go back with the book. Don't seem to be anything this way yet. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and take the book back. What the heck was that? Oh. Why is there a bird cage in here? Why would birds... Or is after the bats? Okay. Oh look, it got put together. All right. Well, there we go. At roughly 3 p.m. today, we had a breakthrough. I sprayed a small amount of the perfume that the next of kin provided on the back of the armchair. Although there wasn't any verbal acknowledgement at this stage, I found that the patient seemed to be calm throughout the entire session. I'm going to wash it off tomorrow. Let's see if there's a direct difference, and if so, I may use it as an aid in future sessions. Oh, that cognitive memory. Oh, look at that. I don't know where you are in there or what it looks like to you, but our readings have trebled in the last few seconds. You must be well, incredibly close to the center of this memory. I think. What is that? I can't go in here? Okay. Oh, there. There it is. Uh, our readings, they're showing that this, this is what's causing the symptoms of dementia in our patient. So we have dementia. Or at least it's, it's okay. part of what's causing it. Alright, should I just grab it? Destroy it any way you can. Once the task is done, I'll be able to extract you from the memory and place you in another. Alright. Well, here's one of those crushing tables. Oh, God! Oh, great, this is... okay. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. What the heck just happened? Uh. Okay. Okay. I don't remember that. Well, that just gave me chills. Okay. This is giving me chills. This is really weird. I don't even remember this. Okay, what about that door? Why this door? Oh. Oh, lockers. Okay. What the heck? Is this a kitchen? Uh. Uh. Oh, God. Okay. stars are passing me by, burning so bright and so fast as if they never truly existed at all. They're so beautiful, so fragile. I want to hold on to them. I want to hold on and never let them go. Why can't I hold on anymore? Please. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. I think this is a good place to stop. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this so far. This is really interesting. I really want to know what's 
the actual story to this because I haven't, I never beat the game. I didn't even get that far into it. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And for those of you on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and I will see you all back here again at the usual spot. Bye-bye.